JWST has shown us a picture of a rare sight. This is a massive star throwing an incredible amount of dust and gas into space as it prepares for an explosive end. This is a star getting ready to end its life in a huge explosion known as a supernova. And it's exciting to see this rare and elusive phase of a star's life. This is a kind of star known as a wolf rayet star. And these are some of the brightest and most massive stars that we know of. Enormous stars live their lives hard and fast. They tend to burn through all of the fuel that they have within a few million years and then explode in a glorious supernova, marking the end of that star. A few million years might sound like a long time, but that is quick for stars. For example, our sun is relatively low mass and is already four and a half billion years old. As these massive stars reach the end and enter their golden years, some of them briefly go through a wolf ray at stage. And that's what JWST has captured here. This phase involves the star shedding and ejecting huge amounts of material into the space around it, creating the gorgeous structures and features of gas and dust that we're seeing in this image. This particular star is known as WR124. The star itself is the big bright one in the center of the image and it lives in its dusty cocoon 15,000 light years from Earth in the Sagittarius constellation. It's in the Milky Way, but these other bright stars with diffraction spikes are even closer to us than WR124. So they're really just getting in the way of this image and they aren't involved in the dynamics of the system here. Being a wolf rayet star is also just a brief phase that some of these stars go through. It's not a permanent designation that stars can have for their whole lives but they just pass through it on their way to the final stages of stellar evolution. The stars that can go through this phase are pretty massive at at least 20 times the mass of our sun. And stars that are rotating fast are more likely to go through this phase because the rotational energy can amplify their magnetic field and contribute to the mass loss and ejection that defines a wolf rayet star. It's not possible for stars that are much lighter than this to go through this phase. So they're all really massive and bright. In particular, WR124 here is about 30 times the mass of the sun and has already ejected about 10 solar masses worth of material to create the beautiful cloud of dust and gas around it that we call a nebula. This nebula around WR124 is about 10 light years across, which is about 22,000 times bigger than the orbit of Pluto around the sun or about 650,000 times larger than the Earth's sun distance. So yeah, it's actually pretty big even though it's all built around a single star. As the material moves away from the star, it cools and glows brightly, giving off plenty of infrared light for JWST to detect. Currently, there seems to be more dust in the entire universe than we astronomers can explain. So studying effective dust producers like wolf rayet stars is very important for understanding the full history and evolution of the universe. This actually isn't the first wolf rayet star we've seen from JWST either. In this gorgeous image of the Tarantula Nebula, the brightest star in this pale blue cluster of stars is a wolf rayet star called R136A1. And this incredible image of rings around a star also features a WR star at the center. To understand more about how and why this one is producing rings, go and check out the video I made all about that image. Link in the description of this video. The image we've been looking at of WR124 is a composite image that uses near-infrared data from JWST's NERCAM instrument and mid-infrared data from the telescope's MIRI instrument too. And the data was taken back in June of 2022. Dust is best studied in infrared light, and this composite image does a great job of balancing the brightness of the core of the object with the details and structures of the huge nebula around it. If we switch to the pure mid-infrared image from MIRI, then we do lose a bit of resolution because the longer wavelength of light we use in an image, the worse the resolution always is. But we can see so much interesting structure and detail in the nebula itself. The longer the wavelength, the worse the resolution, but the better it is at penetrating deep into objects and the more the dust glows in that wavelength. The stars also aren't as dramatic and block less of the nebula, and we get the chance to appreciate how the random ejections of material from the star have created a stunningly chaotic cloud of dust and gas. As ever with these beautiful JWST images, we can play spot the background galaxies. So please tell me your favorite oddity you can find in the back of this image. 
I think this oddball is particularly intriguing, as well as this interesting looking galaxy. But there is so much to find because JWST is so good at collecting light that it just cannot have a blank backdrop. Remember how many objects we can see in the back of this image, and now compare it to this older Hubble image of the same star and nebula taken back in 2015. As you can see, it's way less. It takes Hubble so much longer to collect enough light to see distant objects that most of them just aren't visible in this older image. But even for short exposures, JWST is incredibly good at spotting faint distant objects. The Hubble image has a bit less detail and way less background stars and galaxies visible in it. I mean, it is still stunning and an incredible image, don't get me wrong, and it's not really fair to compare the two. But this is all in the name of fun and science. Don't worry about the colour differences either. Since JWST is an infrared telescope, we pretty much can't see any of the light it collects with our eyes. So all JWST images are false colour, and aren't necessarily how the object would look to us. I'd love to hear what you think of this image in the comments below, and be sure to subscribe to this channel for more JWST and space content right here. And remember to check out this video on screen now to learn more about the incredible ringed star that's also a Wolf-Rayet star. Until next time, stay safe team. I'll see you soon. Bye!